Hey, welcome into the arena, day three, with these two fillies, Springtime the Arabian and Bonnie the Quarter Horse. Um, you saw parts of day one on the first video. Yesterday I brought them out here in the arena and just worked on mostly on leading and uh, just a few things, getting them used to stuff. And what I'm gonna do, and I did this yesterday, is do two sessions with them. Remember, both of these fillies are really young and they don't have a whole lot of experience. And so what I find is if I can do two, two sessions of 20 minutes each instead of one session of 45 or 50 minutes each, as much as I'm able to do that, it's a lot better for them. And this is way better. When I first tried to touch her with this stick yesterday, she ran backwards for about 100 feet. <laughs> uh, so she's really thought about it, kind of come around pretty nicely with that. And I worked yesterday on getting both of them to lead better and let me see how springtime does today. So I want them to lead the same from both sides. I'm gonna get her here and just ask her to walk along beside me. And I use the stick to keep her in the right position. If she gets too far behind me, I'll tap her with the stick. If she gets too close to me, I'll push her away. That's pretty good. I want them to just walk along here pretty nicely with their head right beside my shoulder on both sides equally. A lot of folks only lead their horse from this side, from the left, and then the horse gets bothered and doesn't know what to do if they try to do it from the other side. So I'm real happy with that. That's, that's really good. Just exactly what I want, okay? Um, now let's see if I can throw this rope over her back. When I remember the first day, I couldn't even touch her with this rope. First day when I tried to come in and just touch her with the rope, she wouldn't let me. Um, also, I'll, I'll make an observation that I think the buckskin colt has been handled a bit more. Um, that's kind of what the horse is telling me, which is fine, frankly. Um, everybody kind of has their own opinions on stuff, but mine is this. I would rather have a horse that hasn't been handled, and she's licking and chewing there, so I'm going to let her. I'd rather have a horse that has less handling than one that has had the wrong handling, okay? Uh, and the best example I've ever seen of the wrong handling is that Arabian Stallion I had last winter. He'd had a whole bunch of really wrong handling, which is why he was so difficult. So this little girl hadn't had any bad handling at all. Uh, she's, you know, she knew how to lead a little bit, and uh, that's, to me, that's more than sufficient to get a horse ready to be started, and that's excellent. Excellent, because yesterday when I did this, she ran around for quite a while, really scared her, but today she's handling that pretty well. Good job, girl. Good job. So, and she's a little bit behind because she hasn't been handled as much. I was able to do more with the other filly, uh, but I expect she'll catch up pretty quickly. So I haven't asked her to move her hips yet. That's gonna be on the next thing on the list here. I haven't started teaching her to yield her hindquarters uh, because I wanted to kind of get her over being just scared of stuff a little bit before I started working on that. Good, okay, good, okay, good. I haven't even messed with her legs or her feet yet either. So I'll try to do that here in a minute. So this is the first of the two short sessions. Um, and so, yeah, that got her a little scared when I threw that uh, rope around her hind legs. There's a honeybee bothering her, too. One of my neighbors decided to get into the honeybee business, and the honeybees love to come after the horses. There's not much I can do about that, <laughs> except just go with it. There we go. Okay, I hope she didn't get out of your frame there. Come here, babe. Another thing that I had quite a bit of an issue with her yesterday was her just freezing up and not wanting to give to the pressure of the halter. So I worked on that quite a bit. And the way I worked on it is uh, if she froze up, I just held the pressure. And if she went backwards, I just held the pressure. I didn't pull harder. I just kept that pressure on her like right there because that means move your feet. But she's not moving her feet, is she? Okay. So I can help her a little, say, hey, you need to move your feet. 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 
okay? You need to move your feet. She backed up, she didn't move her feet, so I kept the pressure on. You need, there, that means move your feet, okay? So, you know, that was 10 times worse yesterday. And she'll get better. She'll figure out anytime she feels pole pressure, she needs to move her feet. That's what it means. And yeah, that's getting better, good. Okay, now, this will be the first time that I have asked her to move her hindquarters. And she might get a bit bothered by it. I don't know, we'll find out. So I've rubbed her with the stick, so at least at this point, she's not afraid of the stick. Right there, she's being stiff. She's not giving to the pressure. This, this means move your feet. This means move your feet. There, good. She'll figure it out. And I can be a bit stronger with it. Some of y'all might be saying, whack that horse. You know, and then at some point, if she doesn't figure it out, I, I will start tapping her on the tail or something, but I think she'll figure it out. Okay, so let's start off. And I did this with the buckskin on the first day, but I didn't do it with her because she just wasn't comfortable with me just being around her yet. Now she's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna lean over and look at her hip. I'm gonna tap the air. And then I'm gonna tap her right there real gently on the hip. And if I haven't said this before, I'll say it a hundred times, Arabians are more sensitive than our stock horse breeds. They're just emotionally, physically, they're more sensitive. So I do the same things, I just don't do as much of it. Okay, I love that right there. Do you hear that? She took in a deep breath. Let it out, relaxation, see where her head is. She's pretty relaxed. I mean, it could be a little lower, but it's not bad. Let's look at it again. Look, tap the air, tap her hip. Say, move that hip over, baby. Good, good girl. Let's do it again. Look, tap the air, tap her hip. I want it to go sideways, sideways, right there. Good, okay. So no one has ever asked her to do that before in her whole life, I'm pretty sure. So she's not sure if she's doing it right, and she really isn't, but as long as she tries. Okay, let's do it again. Look, tap the air. I'm gonna tap her just a little harder that time because she's kind of not taking me seriously. Now she's sniffing the stick. And anytime I tap a horse with the stick or the string, then I'm gonna rub her. Otherwise, she'll get afraid of it. Okay, now she's looking off at another horse. All right, move. Okay, that's better, good. That's better, do it again. Do it again, she's backing up. She's trying to evade me, which is what they do. Okay, move your hip. Tap, 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 tap. She hadn't moved it over, she's just backing up. Right there. There. Good girl. Okay, now she's licking and chewing. And I'm sorry if we get too far away. I don't have a camera operator today. It's just me and springtime out here hanging out. And she's quite focused on the horses, my neighbor's horses over there. Come here, babe, let's get a little closer. Okay, how long is this gonna take? I don't know. It takes as long as it takes. Uh, if I skip this step right here, this is a big one, by the way. If I skip this, I will most definitely live to regret it. Okay, because this is the clutch. Okay, see how much better that was? Really good, really good. Okay, now, I'm gonna reward her, not by giving her a cookie, I'm gonna re reward her by leaving her alone. Um, if you want to know what your horse wants more than anything else is they want you to leave them alone. So if you want to reward them, that's how you do it. Good. Okay, now I'm going to put a little pressure on it up here where the girth would be. Just start pulling on it. Good. Pull it and release. Tighten it up. Release it. Tighten it up. Good. She's handling that well. Aren't you a superstar today, baby? She's not even paying attention to me. She's looking out over there. Okay, so she's passed that test really nicely. That's really good. So tomorrow I'll go ahead and put the circ single on her and uh, 
Start letting her carry that around. Now she's licking and chewing. Now, I haven't done anything with this horse's feet yet. Other than just, uh, I've tossed the rope kind of around them like that. That's all I've done. So this will be the first time. Let me put this rope on her front leg here. And I'm going to put a little pressure on that and ask her to give to it. Oh, nice. Okay. Good. Good. So she doesn't seem to be bothered by that at all. Good. Really nice. Yeah, she got a little bit upset. Okay, but she came, came to me. Good girl.